Chad had always been plagued by vivid dreams, but none haunted him quite like the recurring one about the mysterious woman. In the dream, he stood alone on a desolate pier at dusk, with the only source of light was the setting sun. As he gazed out down the pier, he could see a woman, her face beautiful in the twilight, slowly walking toward him. The dream had started innocently enough, but as nights turned into weeks and weeks into months, it became increasingly vivid and unsettling. Her figure became more defined, her steps more deliberate, and the feeling of dread that accompanied her approach intensified. Chad's obsession with finding the peer from his dreams consumed him. He couldn't escape the feeling that the answers to his torment lay at the end of that peer. After months of research and late-night online searches, Chad finally uncovered a clue. An old nautical map, buried deep in the archives of a local maritime museum, depicted a pier that bore a striking resemblance to the one in his dreams. With trembling hands, he traced the path to the obscure location. When he arrived at the pier, it was even more foreboding than he had imagined. The wood was rotten, and the once proud structure had succumbed to years of neglect. An overwhelming sense of unease washed over him, but Chad couldn't turn back now. He clutched the flashlight he had brought for guidance and ventured further down the creaking, decaying planks. As he walked further down the pier that had plagued his dreams, he saw her. There, at the far end of the pier, stood the woman. She was no longer concealed by her beauty in his dreams, and Chad could see her now ghastly face, with hollow eyes that seemed to pierce his soul. Her smile was unnatural, a grotesque imitation of human warmth. Chad's heart raced, but his compulsion to confront this nightmarish figure was unstoppable. He continued to advance toward her, the flashlight flickering and casting eerie shadows on the wet wood beneath his feet. When he was just a few steps away, he finally realized the truth. This woman was not a mere figment of his imagination. She was something far more sinister, a demonic spirit that had haunted his dreams, and now, his waking nightmare. With a evil grin, the woman extended her ghostly hand toward him, and Chad, unable to resist, reached out to touch her. As their fingers made contact, an icy chill surged through his body, and his soul felt as if it were being ripped from his very being. Chad's screams echoed throughout the beach as he was pulled into the warm waters below. The pier itself seemed to come alive, its rotting planks wrapping around him like the tentacles of some ancient sea monster. He thrashed and fought, but it was futile. The last thing Chad saw before the water enveloped him completely was the woman's wicked smile, and her haunting laughter echoed in his ears as he descended into the depths. His body was never found, and his soul was forever trapped beneath that cursed pier, condemned to join the sinister spirit that had lured him to his watery grave. Chad's dreams had finally ceased, but his obsession had led him to a fate worse than any nightmare he could have ever imagined.